I made a bench with no nails, screws or bolts whatsoever, just some joints and I have a really stressful glue up. I'm Patrick with Rustic Maker. I had this old pole sitting around and took out all the nails and cleaned it up and that's going to be the bench top type of hardwood cleans up really nicely with a wire brush just really important to wear protective clothing and goggles since the wires from the wire brush fly everywhere once i clean the top piece and the middle piece support piece i cut out the legs and a couple of pieces for the base and clean those up I then used my circular saw to cut through the pole. The problem was the blade wasn't big enough so I couldn't cut all the way through like as you see here. I then tried cutting through the rest of the way with my hand saw and with my jigsaw with a long blade. Both didn't work and like any good old 90s action movie Brute force was the answer here as well. Once I had both of the pieces, I cleaned them up and cut them to size. I needed a way to keep the boards aligned while I did the joints and using a piece of plywood I screwed it in to keep it from moving around. Using my router I cut out an inlay into the top piece from the bottom in order to put a piece of wood in there. I then used the jointer to straighten one side of the board that's going into the inlay and I cut it to size. I also aligned two pieces of wood on each side in order to make the legs. I then mark and cut the inlays of the legs that are going into the piece of wood on the bottom of the bench. Using a flush trim bit, I straighten uh, part of the piece of wood where the legs are going into. I then cut out the sections of the bottom piece using first a drill then my router and finally with a rasp Here I get the first look at what the bench is going to look like. The bottom support piece still needs to be cut out and I found an old screw inside that had to be removed. Then using my router I cut out a section of the bottom support piece and I made a jig in order to cut out the other side of that uh, inlay. Since it's super hard wood, I use my jigsaw for the second one to do a little cutout first and then coming with a jig and just cleaning it up with the router. I then dry fit the bottom support piece onto the legs and everything went really well until this point. I put a string around it 
turn it around. It looked really nice, just as planned. Now onto the glue up, which was really stressful. I used glue that uh, was the expandable foam glue. Uh, I really like this glue, but it's for this project, it just didn't have enough cure time. It went too fast that it started to cure. And once I assembled the whole thing, the legs wobbled on the on the bottom bottom. I'm still not sure what exactly happened, but I had to rip everything apart once I did the first glue up, redo the whole thing and clamp it down onto my desk in order to straighten it. It still wasn't 100% straight and I had to come back later and cut a millimeter off of two legs to get rid of this wobble that I have on the bench. And while I'm frantically running around in the background ripping apart my project, you might want to take this time to subscribe, check out my other content. I always try to push the limits of my tools and my knowledge, learn new things every day and keep on making better videos. A couple of things that I learned during this glue up have enough long clamps to clamp everything down and also use glue that has longer cure time than this. It got really messy since I had to rip everything apart and do the whole glue up again and I just had to clean all the foam up that got out from the glue. I then removed the plywood board, all the screws, that kept the top pieces together. One of these screws broke while I removed them, luckily I could get it out with a vice grip. A couple of sections of these uh, top boards on the bottom, they were soft, half rotten, and to get rid of this I used uh, epoxy resin and soaked the uh, soft spots. It uh, really worked well, hardened up the whole project on the bottom. Since I have a dusty shop and not ideal for finishing, I took it away to a local shop that does my finish work, and this is the result. <laughs> 